Hi, I'm Dr. Saronic, one of the uh, rheumatology fellows at UC Irvine. Um, one of the uh, cases I wanted to uh, uh, talk about is a case of adult onset Sills disease that was complicated by macrophage activation syndrome. So um, a couple learning objectives I have. Um, one, this condition is nearly, uh, carries a mortality of 20%, so it's, it's, it's pretty serious. Um, it may mimic and a flare of a de onset Stills disease. However, a de onset Stills disease doesn't present with progressive cytopenias, elevated transaminases. So, 46 year old female presents to the hospital. She's been having fevers up to 104 for about a month. And we were consulted for a right knee effusion. Um, come to find out, she's been having um, daily fevers, she's been having weight loss, she's been having a rash, she's had a sore throat uh, a few weeks ago. Um, so we did an arthrocentesis of her right knee and it had an inflammatory infiltrate. So based on all of those symptoms, we diagnosed her with adult onset Stills disease in addition to her neutrophil predominant leukocytosis and a high ferritin of about 5,000 when she was admitted. So it was a mild case, so we started on, on naproxen initially. However, on uh, day three, she developed more uh, encephalopathy, her liver enzymes started to climb up, her platelets started to decrease. So we rechecked the ferritin at that time. And these are the two trends. Here's the ferritin levels, and here is the platelet levels. So, at this point, our concern for macrophage activation syndrome was pretty high, so we opted to treat her with IV steroids. And as you can see here, on the initiation of IV steroids on day eight, her ferritin started to downtrend and her platelets started to increase. And she was thus discharged on an oral steroid regimen. And this case illustrates the need to recognize MAS because it carries such a high mortality. And um, sometimes these specific lab values, NK cell activity and IL-2 receptor take one to two weeks to come back. So it's better to not wait for that if your suspicion is high and treat anyway. And actually her levels came back significantly elevated IL, uh, IL-2 receptor and low NK cell activity confirming the diagnosis of MAS. Thank you.